Bon Imperial by Essential Parfums. Is this one worthy of your money or not? Let's find out. Hello everyone, my name is Steven. Thanks so much for checking into today's in-depth full review on Bois Imperial. A fragrance by the house of Essential Parfums, niche company. So we must get some good quality, right? Well, let's find out. First off, we are going to look at the presentation and I'm sorry, I can't show you the box. It is somewhere around the house, I can't find it. It will show up after I'm done shooting the video. But here we go, this is the bottle. It is very, uh, it's timeless, it's classy, but it's also really simple, you know? Doesn't really have a lot of it going on for it. It's really thick glass and I believe if you drop it accidentally on the right corner, it might not even chip. So yeah, um, I think it's really nice. It is simple, but it's okay. It has the name of the fragrance and the perfumer in the front. Kind of respectful for them to do, as most companies don't even mention the perfumer unless you really dive into the descriptions and all of that. But uh, yeah, 16% perfume oil, apparently, and close to 100% natural ingredients. But we will get into that later on. Sprayer itself, really nice. It leaves a nice mist, obviously. Not as good as the R, but I can say that for the most fragrances. <laughs> Cap itself is plastic, should be magnetic, okay? If you look at designer fragrances these days, quite easily you're at around 100 euros for a 100 ml. This is 100 ml retailing for 78 euros. If you want to try it out, they have a great option for you as they sell a 10 ml on their website for 20, 20 bucks, 20 euros. Kind of good deal, no? Now, if you really can't get enough of the fragrance itself, you can also get a laundry detergent to wash your clothes with it. It's only available through the website. I think most, most carriers will only sell the fragrance itself. So if you want to get into those things, you've got to go through Essential Parfums website. So for the notes, we have a lot of things going on. We have, first of all, Aki Galawood. Hadn't heard from it before either. We have woody notes, we have basil, we have timur, we have ambroxan and patchouli. So yeah, Aki Galawood, I know, right? It's nothing natural, probably. Well, you're right. I did some research, apparently it was made by a company named Givaudin who create sustainable things for the future to create a less of an impact on nature and all of that. So yeah, synthetic. It's a synthetic molecule, apparently derived from the essential oil of patchouli. So it has a very interesting multifaceted feel. At, the, at one end, it, it, it is woody. It is a woody component. It smells really, warm spicy as well even has a floral touch in my opinion and it creates a very interesting composition it is green it also has a invigorating feel because of that it smells really natural but at the same time the akigala wood makes for a very intense aroma chemical that some people might even think uh, smells too synthetic and I can't fault them because it is very strange at one end it smells really well made it smells really natural but at the same time it is not something that your nose is used to smelling from the outside world world so with the inclusion of Aki Gala wood in this composition they created a fragrance that has a very confident magnetic alluring uh, feel it has a sillage that draws me in and uh, this fragrance is very also quite familiar in a sense i mean it's not like i have smelled it before but you know mostly like it feels quite familiar i don't know why maybe because of the woodiness in the composition like the vetiver is a note i'm really fond of it is something that is used in a lot of classic men's fragrances so it quite feels familiar to me, it's comforting, it's also quite energizing, it has a refreshing feel to it. No citrus or anything, but that basil, beautiful note, 
that green aromatic feel of the basil is amazing now you have heard that me mentioning a broxen in the in the note description and you're right it has a clear ambroxan note which helps for the performance but um it does all of that without smelling really synthetic yes it smells really interesting it is a confident booster it's energizing and it is magnetic so it draws people in it's a seducer so we want to know how does this perform because obviously if it doesn't perform then it's useless as a scent you need to be smelled from a certain distance I know fragrances are all personal and all of that, but you do want to make an impression, right? So for performance, personally, I think this is a beast. No slouch on my skin, lasting easily 10 to 12 hours with a big, big scent cloud, okay? Performance is exceptional. I think most of you will have no issues with this lasting all day. And if you read comments of people saying that it only lasts for 30 minutes yeah their nose must be flooded it must have blown out their olfactive capabilities to receive and perceive the scent mostly because of how much they sprayed and also might be a factor of you know personal sensitivity so by now you're really drawn into this fragrance and you want to just go out and buy it but wait is this one for you well, usually I go by saying that the fragrance is for anyone who wants to wear it. I believe that most fragrances are unisex, but um, it has a lot of woodiness going on for it. It's also quite spicy. It feels even a little peppery. Therefore, I don't think a lot of women will enjoy wearing this. And personally, I wouldn't really want to smell this on my significant other, on my wife either. So I think, I think it's mostly masculine fragrance. It's more suited for men and it has quite of a, a mature feel to it, okay? There's no sweetness going on in the composition. So therefore, I don't really think a lot of teenagers or young adults will be drawn to this scent. I believe, I don't know, 25, 30 and up. For the occasion and season, this is a very, very versatile scent okay because it's fresh because it's aromatic because it's spicy woody and it's very airy transparent as a scent i think therefore you can use this all year round maybe be careful in the summer when it's really hot and you are wearing this during the day don't really over over exaggerate with the sprays because it is quite potent but other than that I can see this being a workhorse for you I can see people be using this as a signature scent it is also a fragrance that I wear to work I even got a lot of compliments for this one as well I know this is a huge thing in America but here in Belgium we don't really do that all that much so for what it's worth, this is a compliment magnet. So are there fragrances similar to Bois Imperial? Absolutely. You can check out Ganymede by Marc-Antoine Barrois, or you can check out Grève et Hiver by Tom Ford. Or wait, that's what Fragrantica wants you to believe, okay? That's what people tell you online. For me personally, no. Grève et Hiver by Tom Ford is completely different. I can't find any resemblance other than the fact that it has vetiver, but the complete impression, the smell, how this fragrance makes me feel, it has nothing going on that reminds me of one or another, you know. So Ganymede, yes, I understand that people mention Ganymede, but even though I only tried it out once and I didn't really get a full wearing, I don't think they are really clones or anything like that. This is quite unique and aside from Ganymede, there is nothing like this on the market today. If you factor in the price point, I don't think it is even worth checking out alternatives. But you know, that's just me. To sum up, fragrance like this is something that we don't come across very often. I think this is like a, a, a unicorn fragrance in a sense that 
I wasn't really expecting something from a niche company to come at this price point. Quite pleased with this purchase and I will wear it a lot throughout the summer months and going into fall this one will be a favorite for me. So there you go if you have any questions regarding this fragrance put them down in the comments below. If you've enjoyed the video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I hope you have an amazing day ahead of you.